All right, so out of all the vehicle upgrade modules in Subnautica, the best one, in my opinion, is going to be the Seamoth Perimeter Defense System. Uh, it was a close little tie between the um, the Cyclops Shield Generator and the Depth modules. They were all, you know, kind of tied up with the Perimeter Defense for the best uh, vehicle upgrade module, in my opinion. But the Perimeter Defense came out on top for a few reasons. All right, so when activated, the Seamoth Perimeter Defense will generate a small little electrical field around your vehicle that will effectively make any hostile creature that's attacking you sort of run away. The best thing is for example if you're grabbed by a reaper like if a reaper grabs you it's sort of like thrashing around and whatnot you have perimeter defense all you have to do is push the button once and the reaper will instantly let go and then it'll start running away from you this works on every single leviathan in the game so it works on the reaper the ghost leviathan the sea dragon the only creature that it does not work on are ampules which is the only only downside to this thing and that's because ampules are sort of already electrified on their own so it wouldn't really make sense if it did work on them and the other thing about the permanent defense is the fact that it drains very very little energy from your seamoth whenever you use it so as we can see i'm sitting at 99 power right now so if i use it again and it, it didn't even go down. It didn't go down at all. Let's use it again. Now it went down. So I had to use it twice for the actual power to go down. Now you can charge it up, which gives you a bigger blast radius and it does a little more damage, but you don't have to charge it up to actually get a good effect off the um, off your perimeter defense. So if you charge it up like this, of course it's gonna use more energy. We saw that those creatures over there got hit by a tomb so it's a lot bigger bigger radius and it does more damage but you don't have to charge it up to get the um you know the good effects from it all you have to do is wait for a creature to get close to you and then just tap it once and that creature will instantly turn around stop attacking you it'll run away and it'll give you time because as it's running away it's going to be getting distance from you and you can also get distance from it so the perimeter defense buys you a lot of extra time to either you know get like a little attack plan ready against creatures or if you want to run away from a creature it'll give you plenty of time to do so as well the reason i was going to put the depth modules on the list for the best upgrade but i didn't is because the depth modules you do need them you know if you want to be able to take your vehicles basically everywhere in the game because without the depth modules you can't really proceed with your vehicles because they will get you know locked out at a certain depth the only reason i put the perimeter defense above the depth modules is because then the perimeter defense i feel like has a little more a little more use than the depth modules because the depth module is a passive you know passive upgrade module so you you can't really activate it a perimeter defense will effectively keep you safe from the majority of the creatures in the game while the depth module will allow you to explore areas in the game and i would honestly take being safe over the majority of creatures in the game over you know exploration if I had to choose. Although you can only take the Seamoth to a max depth of 900, so it's not like you'd be able to take the Seamoth to the deepest, deepest parts of the game anyways, but Perimeter Defense is still extremely useful for the biomes that you can use, use it in, which is basically everywhere except for the Lost River, because once you get past a certain point in the Lost River, your Seamoth cannot proceed any further. So the reason I put the um, the Perimeter Defense over the Shield Generator, the Cyclops Shield Generator, is because the Cyclops Shield Generator and the Perimeter Defense do the exact same thing, you know, they serve the same purpose, which is to keep you safe from creatures. They're both super good at that not knocking the shield generator or anything because zero generator is super good when compared to the perimeter defense i think it's i think the perimeter defense is a little bit better only because the shield generator drains a lot of energy when you activate it so when you first activate your shield generator it's going to take four from your uh cyclops's overall energy automatically and then every few seconds it'll keep ticking four for as long as you have the shield generator activated and you may need to have the shield generator activated for a little bit longer because unlike the perimeter defense the shield generator isn't going to instantly stop creatures from attacking you or like ward them off they might still be near you even while you have your shield generator activated so you may have to leave it on for a few extra seconds to actually get out of the area where the hostile creature is and then you'll be able to turn it off at which point the shield generator would have probably already drained you know maybe like an extra four or eight energy from your cyclops so it's a big drain on the energy of your cyclops and the other plus about the cyclops shield generator is the fact that it actually works on every single creature in the game which includes ampules so ampules actually can't damage your cyclops if you do have your shield generator activated so that's a plus that the shield generator has over the over the perimeter defense on the Seamoth. So yeah, the Shield Generator, Perimeter Defense, and the Depth Module, all really, really good modules, you know, vehicle upgrade modules. They all have their pros and cons, but I feel like the Perimeter Defense, in my opinion, turns out to be the best overall vehicle upgrade module in Subnautica. If you had a different opinion than me and you feel like another vehicle upgrade module is a little bit better than the perimeter defense, feel free to let me know in the comments. That is 100% fine. So that way we can get some different perspectives and some different explanations as to what we all think are the best vehicle upgrade modules in this game because there's a lot of good ones out there. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.